Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. That would be amazing. And in this quick trick tip video, I'm going to show you how to use the Chrome DevTools to visualize some CSS changes onto a live site and then export them for later. I find this particularly useful for designers, developers who just need to see things really quickly and just want to do some small tinkering. So in this example, I chose a simple template that I found on onepagelove.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple changes here on CSS. So I will just right click here and hit inspect on this a new take on collaborative docs. And it's going to select the element. And what I'll do is I'm going to hit this plus button where it says new style rule and I'm going to do some changes here. So let's say I change this down a little bit to font size 20 pixels. Where do you go? Let's see, 20 pixels. Um, and then I change the color to uh, red. Great. So let's go ahead and do another change. Um, let's change this header here. So I right click on that and hit the plus sign and let's make that color, color white. Ooh, can't even see that. Antique smoke? Can't even see that either, okay. Uh, red again, here's red, perfect. So here's red. Okay, so now we have a couple of changes already stored up here and we're like, okay, we, we like our changes and we wanna save these and export them. So what we're gonna do here is there's a couple of options. First, you can select the element that you've done changes to. So you have a list, a laundry list of changes that you've done. You hit that, touch one of those elements, and you're going to see your added rule or your added style. And you can click on this inspector style sheet. So if I click on that, and you're going to see a laundry list of changes that you have done. And from there, you can right click and hit save as, and then you can export it and save it for later. Now, another option, if you can't remember what you did or some changes you did, is you can go to the sources tab here. And in the sources tab, you will see a list of, on the page uh, page tab here, you'll see a list of different sources of uh, files that got imported while, or imported while you were viewing the page. And what you'll notice is you'll see this web page appear twice. And one is gonna be the actual page. So in this case, this is the one that's actually loaded from demo onepagelove.com. And on the other one, you're gonna actually see your inspector style sheet. So here's my inspector style sheet, and there it is. So if I click on that, you'll see it here, and then I can just right click on the tab itself and save it as well. Or you can even copy and paste it and put it in your text header. And that is a quick trick that I normally do quite often. And I hope you find that useful. If you have any more other things that you want to learn or any other tricks and tips that you might be curious about, please leave it in the comments below and have a great day and keep on building. I'm not a tech guy. I think more about life.